Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Scentsy Flash Sale Haul, as well as my first sniffs of the Scentspiration Collection. We're going to save that for last, but I have 20 bars from the Scentsy Flash Sale that happened two weeks ago, I think, at this point. Let me tell you, was that not the best flash sale ever? I was sitting there on my computer, waiting in the queue, and when I opened, when it was like my turn to shop, let me tell you, the bars that they had for like dirt cheap, I only went in for bars. I did purchase one warmer. I wasn't planning on it, but I got the woodland warmer. It's like the deer, super cute for $15. You can't beat that, but it's already packed up with my Christmas stuff, but I did pick up some bars. I picked up 20 bars and each set, I got two of each because if I want to do it in my living room, dining room, kitchen area, I like to have two bars on hand. Now, some of these I've smelled and love to stock up on, and then some are brand new to me. So without further ado, let's get into it. I picked up two bars of porch pumpkin. Now I've never smelled this, but I love me a pumpkin scent. I did smell all of these. Let me tell you, this is so good. If you like pumpkin marshmallow, if you like like very peri pumpkin, any of those that have like more of a realistic, like fleshy pumpkin scent, I think you'd like this. There's a little bit of a spice, like a warm spice, like a nutmeg, not crazy like clove or cinnamon. I'm not sure of the description, but oh my gosh, this is so yummy. I'm so excited to put this away for next, for the fall. This is so yummy. And I know this is going to be like a really cool fall night. Put this throughout the house and just smell delish. Porch pumpkin is so good. From the Mix It collection, I never ordered any scents from the Mix It collection, but they did have grapefruit orange in there. And I was like, that sounds delish. And it's so good for spring. And that's it. It's just grapefruit and orange. There's no fizz. There's no other notes in there. It just smells like a really citrusy scent. Really good for those really hot summer days. You open up your door and you just want to smell really refreshed, like a big glass of orange juice. That's what this smells like. Like sweet, delicious, and fruity. So really excited to get that one. I have had this bar before and I'm so... Why I only ordered two bars of it? I don't know. Coastal Strawberry. This scent is so good, you guys. This smells like a true juicy green strawberry. So I definitely get strawberry. It's probably my favorite strawberry that Scentsy's ever done. I do like summer strawberry, but to me, this one is just the best. This is literally like a green, fresh, sweet strawberry right from the ground. Oh, so good. I'm so happy to have that for the spring. I picked up two of Atlantic Air. This is another one that I just love, always have. It's fresh, it's clean, it's aquatic. It's not overly overly um, laundry. It's so pretty. This is a great bedroom set. So I'll literally probably just use like two or four bars in my bedroom, especially with a scent like this. It's so nice. I love Atlantic Air. Like, you cannot go wrong with clean and fresh scents. It always freaks me out when people say they don't like clean scents because you don't want your house to smell clean. Like, interesting. I don't know. Next, Sweet Cucumber. Now, this is interesting to me. I've never smelled this one. I've got two bars as well. I love cucumber scents. And this is nice. It definitely gives me, like, cucumber melon vibes without the melon, but it is definitely like a watery, sweet cucumber. Nothing really, nothing crazy, nothing like outstanding. I could see how this one like easily gets passed up in a catalog and why it got discontinued. But it's nice to have, it's nice to like freshen up the house with. Yeah, it's nice. It's definitely like, not my least favorite one, but not one that really stands out to me. This one I felt I feel like it really either got slept on or people just did not care for it. Jade and Jasmine. One, the name totally does not fit the scent. This is definitely like a more masculine cologne. Yeah, but a very like summer version of a cologne. Like this man is wearing like a white t-shirt or like an open button down. 
with like Bermuda shorts and like Sperry's on the beach. Like on like not necessarily a yacht, unless he has a lot of money, then he's on a yacht. But yeah, just like a very fresh man's cologne. I really like this. I like having this one in the bedroom. Um, it's not in my club, but I'm excited to have a few more bars. I actually think I still have one in my collection, but I like having a few more bars. Lavender Cotton. Now, I picked up two of these as well, and Lavender Cotton is interesting. I used to work for Lush for a long time, and this smells like a Lush scent. You know how whenever you go into a Lush store, it has that smell, like the bath bomb dust, like the baking soda? This smells like a lavender bath bomb, but it doesn't smell like Twilight or any of the bath bombs that I've we've had when I worked there, but it just reminds me of like a lavender bath bomb. It's so good though. Triggers me a little bit <laughs> from my past experiences working there, but I still really like it and happy to have it in my collection. This one makes me so sad because it's not in my club. I hope we do another flash sale or a clearance sale and I can pick up a lot more. So sad and it's not coming back in the catalog. Pink Cotton. This scent, you guys, is so good. It is like strawberry laundry. Just like the slightest hint of fruity with a ton of clean laundry. It's so good. It's great in the laundry line as well. I love this. I do a cube of this and a cube of cocoa lime together, too, in the summer, and it just makes the house smell so good. But I do not want to part with this now. These are my only two bars of pink cotton left, and it is so yummy. I love that one. Now, this. I did not like this at all on cold, but when you start warming this, it's amazing. Wild for fall. So, wild for fall is like an orangey, like, evergreen scent, which... Totally, it, well, yeah. I do not like this on cold at all. It has such a sharp pine scent. Wow. But let me tell you, when you warm it, it is so beautiful and such a great outdoorsy, woodsy, green fragrance that is good all year for some people. For me, I would only want to warm this in Christmas. Two bars is plenty for next season. I definitely enjoy it. It's beautiful on cold, or it's beautiful on warm. I don't like it on cold. But I don't need it in my club or anything, so I'm happy to have a few more bars of that. Now, this scent. Never smelled this before. I know you already see it right now. Everybody raves about it. They say it smells like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Hocus Pocus, Wickedly, Perfectly Wicked, the Sanderson Sisters. Licensed bars to me always smell the same, especially like the Disney ones, and it's just crazy that you have to pay a little bit more. I get it because of like the licensing on the label, but the scents have never been worth it for me. This scent is really good. It is in my club before I smelled it, and then when I saw it in the flash sale, I'm like, mm, I better pick some up just to see. It's staying in my club. I do not like cherry fragrances whatsoever, but this is more like a cherry perfume. And it's beautiful. I really like it. And I've heard this is great performance-wise. So I'm excited to melt it. But for now, it's staying in my club. I'm going to melt this, see what it's like. But right now, it's beautiful. And I'm really happy I picked that one up. So those are what I picked up from the flash sale. Super excited. I love a good flash sale. And since he's been killing it in the flash sales lately. Now I'm going to slide these over and let's talk about the Sensepirations Go Go Mango inspired collection right here. So as a consultant, Consultant Perks, you're actually able to order up to two sets of these early, which is awesome. These are available for purchase on February 13th. I'll leave my link down below. February 13th, I believe we're also getting... Um, the Easter collection comes out, I think. Lots comes out. But anyway, with this Sensepiration collection, we did one over the holidays, which was a vanilla bean buttercream. So there was a vanilla bean buttercream, gingerbread buttercream, caramel buttercream, and candy cane buttercream. Everybody went crazy for candy cane buttercream. I actually have that melting in my office right now. It's currently in my club but I'm not impressed with it at all on warm. Like, it's so light, and it's actually more buttercream heavy than I was expecting. I thought it would be way more candy cane, but 
I have one more bar. I might melt it in my bedroom, see what the experience is like in there. But as for now, in my office, I have a whole bar, two cubes in a few warmers, and I'm barely getting anything. And what I am getting is just like a sweet buttercream. So it's not going to be a repurchase. I'm still melting the other ones. But so where we, what would they do is they take, for example, vanilla bean buttercream, make that the base and the inspiration for the other bars. So with this one, Go Go Mango inspiration, we have four bars. So we have obviously Go Go Mango. We also have Mango Margarita, Mango Shortcake, and Mango Wildflower. So, so cute. So excited for this collect collection. And like the packaging is adorable. I love Go Go Mango on its own. It's not the super, it's not the most strong scent for me, but Go Go Mango right here. I'm excited to see what they do with this. These are all first impressions, have not dove into this yet. Go Go Mango, juicy mango and melon garnished with hibiscus and sweet banana flower. Had this one. It's nice. It is just a very fruity, fruity mango. And mangoes are a fruit I love. I love eating them, love smelling them. I love the color of them. Mangoes are great. This just isn't super strong. It definitely leans towards, okay, I'm going to have a throwback. Who remembers Bali Mango from Bath and Body Works? It was in Body Care. I loved Bali Mango. This smells very similar. Dare I say almost identical? Almost identical. I'm smelling it in the clam. More than the wax, the empty clam does. Oh, it's so good. I love the Bali Mango. So yeah, Go Go Mango is great. And again, like, look at this. We have the mangoes. We have the little girl dancing. So, so, so cute. Love that. That's Go Go Mango. Mango Wildflower. I feel like from the reviews I've been watching, everybody's like, this is their least favorite because it's a floral. And we have a grove of wild hibiscus and tropical freesia sweetened with juicy mango. So... It's nice. It's floral. It's a sweet floral. The color is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's like a sweet floral with mango. Um, I don't necessarily say it's like hibiscus or freesia, but it's definitely like a sweet floral mango. It's yummy. It's yummy. I like it. This will be a good bedroom scent. And I almost feel like if you're entertaining in the summer and you have this going, nobody would be offended by it even though it's a floral, because I think mango is such a sweet fruit that it's almost overtaking it, but really like that one. Next, we have mango margarita. Now, I know a lot of people picked this up or got this as a sample in their whiff boxes. I did not um, pick up a whiff box, but I know a lot of people already had this one, and they really like it. A burst of tropical fruits blended with juicy mango and a dash of sparkling citrus. Ooh, okay. That's really nice. Really juicy. Like, you can get, like, the salt rim of the margarita. You get the juicy mango, and you almost get, like, the crushed ice. You can definitely tell the sparkling citrus. Almost like, you know how, like, the fizzy pop oil is a citrus, but it also is effervescent? It's almost like it's that, because you do get that fruity with a little effervescence. It's really pretty. Ooh, I like that. I really like that. That is yummy. And then last but not least, the one I know I was most excited about, and I think everybody else was too, Mango Shortcake. Now, Mango Shortcake. Warm baked cupcake topped with whipped vanilla and juicy mango. Yum. Oh, yeah. This is nice, you guys. This is really nice. Ooh, you definitely get the cupcake. But it's more like a yellow cake. Like, it's a really dense, moist cake. I almost picture... We have a delicious cupcake bakery here. I call it Vanilla Pastry Studio. And they have really yummy cupcakes. And I could see them putting this on the menu, like, special of the day, mango cupcakes... And, like, a really moist yellow cake. The center is hollowed out, and it's filled with, like, this delicious mango preserves. And, like, a white buttercream frosting. That's really yummy. Oh, my gosh. If this performs as well as it smells on cold, 
I'm going to need more. Oh, wow. Okay, so I know I've been watching some reviews, and a lot of people say these aren't super, super strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these away. When they come out, add them to my club, let them sit until the spring, and then I'm going to melt them just so that way they have some time to cure in my drawer, and I can keep getting them, and that way if they're strong, if not, I can obviously take them out of my club. But obviously, my two favorites, mango margarita and mango shortcake, which I'm sure a lot of you are loving as well. I know my friend Amy from Amy Sense and Songs just did a video. Love her. Her videos are spectacular. She's such a good friend. She's so sweet. So really love that collection. Excited to see. And again, those come out on February 13th. Again, I'll leave a link to my website down below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.